there. Happy Switch Up Saturday. I hope y'all had a, a good week. I hope you had a good week. I know I, I had a, a week. Um, it was a good, it was a good week. It was Pickle's birthday on Thursday. So, oh, I just bit my, <laughs> bit my cheek. Um, Pickle's turned two, our little piggy. Um, and she was a cute, cute little pie, but she's not much, she's not a little baby anymore. She's two years old. It's crazy. Um, I'll insert, you know, her little fiesta. That's a, I made her a little tiny dog friendly birthday cake and the other dog shared in the festivities and chewing on it and eating it up. Dolly got really greedy and wanted to eat the whole thing. So anyway, um, it was an event. I'm a proud dog mom. So did that and then had to go to work a couple times in the office. So carried my burrow and that did very well. I was very um, pleased with it. It definitely um, carries a lot. I would say the only drawback to it is it's got so many compartments. I kept losing my, I have two phones. I have one, a personal phone and then my work phone. And I kept losing my work phone. Like it's smaller than the pro. So I thought I put it in one slot and it ended up being in another one. And I just keep like digging through it and freaking out. And I'm like, ah, driving me nuts. So, you know, just it's too spacious. There we go. <laughs> it's a good problem to have a too spacious bag, but anyhow, um, I think if there's anything else to share, like, I think it was a pretty uneventful week. We're going to be heading into fall officially. I've been stopped manifesting. It is officially going to be fall. So it's definitely stayed a little bit darker in the morning and it's getting a little bit darker earlier in the, in the evening. So yeah, we're getting into the best time of the year. <laughs> Sorry. For those of you who love summer and warm weather, great for you. I'm so I'm so happy for you. Unfortunately, now it's my time. <laughs> I just really enjoy it. So um yeah, so we don't have anything new to share. I yeah, nothing nothing to report. I hope to be able to go up and try those fragrances that I mentioned last week. Um, I'm supposed to meet my friend for lunch. I got a text her as a matter of fact, um, to confirm if we're still doing that. Um, so hopefully I'm getting that done so I can try those out for sure. But other than that, it's just kind of been uneventful. So, uh, nail check, we've got the, um, nightshade from this last week, obviously the right hand is a lot more um messed up i guess by this state but still i mean not too bad considering the process so those wore pretty well that those uh, that wore relatively well so we'll pick out another shade for this week we'll go over and pick out the fragrances for this week and I think I already know what bag I'm carrying because there's no in office this week so I think I have an idea so we will get over there and get on down Okay, so we have the tray. <laughs> I just realized that one of the fragrances is missing because it's in my purse. I forgot to take it out from when I wore it the other day. So we had Vanilla Diorama. We had Not Another Cherry, Pacific Lime, Mickey Mouse, and Wood Sage and Sea Salt is in the burrow. I will dig that out and put it away in a few minutes, but I wore that to work. Um... When was the last day I went to work? Wednesday. So that for sure Wednesday and Monday, those two days. So I wore that for work. I find that a very good um, fragrance for the office. It's not very um, intrusive. Although I will say I think most of these would have been appropriate. Pacific Lime, Mickey, any of those are definitely milder natural more natural type of scents um vanilla rama is a little bit um rich spicy could be could be a little bit intrusive um this one it's it's because it's got a little bit more of the floral prominence 
on it a little bit more than the real lost cherry um yeah it's just it's it's different it's, it has a different I've, I've worn lost cherry and not had a problem before and this one I just I don't know why I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing that to, the, to my particular office but on others your mileage may vary but anyway I wore everything it was a very successful week and I'm gonna put everything back and pick something out for this week Okay, so this is what I picked for the week. I'm not sure that I've gone this direction on any of the the weeks. So I'm going to pull out Gree Dior again to try because I actually placed an order for Dior.com Beauty. I wanted a freebie. I know this is the stupidest reason ever to place an order, but they had a freebie mirror that just seemed like to die for. And one of the samples is the Gree Dior Elixir. Um, I'll insert an image of it. It's just like the intense version of Gree Dior. So I wanted to try this out again because I don't recall if I remember correctly if I just was like so-so on it or if I really didn't like it, I couldn't remember. So I just wanted to try that again and see how that fared. Then Orchid Vanille, I wanted to, um, it, because of Vanilla Diorama from last week, which is a little bit heavier, this is similar, very similar, just a little less spicy in my opinion. So just a lighter version of a you know a spicy vanilla so I wanted to use that one up and then um, coming up front here I've got two of the trends we've got number six and number seven I know they have certain names I'll insert them on the screen um, of which are which they're they're kind of light florals a little bit um, if I remember correctly a little bit fruity but I'll I'll insert the notes for each of them they're relatively um, reasonably priced House of Siage fragrances. So I enjoy using them every so often. So I kind of just wanted to use them this week. And then last but not least, I wanted to use Cactus Garden because I wanted a spa-like scent. And I don't grab that one very often anymore because it is discontinued. And I just like to baby the bottle, but I wanted to use the actual one I have. I have a dupe that I'll usually pull out when I'm feeling the need to use this one so that I don't utilize too much of it, but I just, I, I want to, I want to wear the, the, the real, the real deal this week. So that, that is the tray of the week. Okay. So we used nightshade last week. So we'll put that one back. And what do we feel like doing this week? I want to do something that's not going to be too complicated, but fall, fall-esque. I kind of want to go green, but maybe this green? That seems a little much. Modestness. Yeah, that seems a little much. Let me go. Let's go. This gray. Spirit Fingers. I know I've worn this before. It's a gray with red sparkle in it. I just need something a little more than cream. So that will be our shade of the week. We'll get a, more, a better close up of that. Maybe go back to the desk. Okay, as I mentioned, we carried the extra, extra large burrow this week. It's like so big, it can barely be in frame. It's got the strap. It carries everything in the kitchen sink in there. It's massive. There's somebody revving up their motorcycle outside. Um, I've even got the chips still in there from lunch. Um... Yeah, no, it's a great work bag. I mean, if you can get your hands on the extra, extra large. Hello, sir. Excuse me. If you can get your hands on an extra, extra large, you know, do it. I think the only one 
left on my bucket list is the Oxblood. I just love that color of maroon. Nothing in that pouch. Got keys. Got AirPods. Is there anything in here? Oh yeah, here comes the wallet and everything else. Sunglasses. Paper. What's in that one? Gum coins. Oh, there's the fragrance. I'm telling you, it's just like it just keeps going. More stuff. All the things. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay, she is empty. I'm going to pack her away and grab the bag that I've already picked out for the week because I've been kind of just eyeing it in the corner of my office. I will be right back. Have y'all noticed a theme of every week that I throw so much crap in my bags? I, I will keep it real with you. I am the messiest person. Like, if you saw over there, there's just everywhere. There's just, I'm just a walking ball of chaos. I'm like that kid from Peanuts. If y'all, if you grew up watching, you know, the, the kid, what is he, Pe pig pen? The one with the ball of dirt that follows him around. I think that's me. That is like me personified. I am not, I am that character. So we are going to carry, and this poor thing, I should have done a better job stuffing to get it kind of in shape. We're going to carry the boxer bag. I've just been wanting to carry it for weeks. I just think it's a gorgeous bag. The setup of it is really nice. The interior there, so many pockets, just tons of space. So we're just gonna load it up with everything I have here. I don't need to take the gum with me though. The hand cream is gonna go back on my desk because I'm not going into the office. So gum. This will stay here, but everything else will go into the bag. So we're gonna put sunglasses, the wallet staying in that, keys, AirPods, coin, down in there. Don't need the pad of paper, obviously. I think that's it. I think that's it. I might shove the phone either here or on the back slip pocket. Probably on the back. I'm on it right now, so that's why it's not being shoved in as we speak. But that is going to be the bag of the week. I just find it really cute. I just need to do a better job of getting it to not be smushed. It's still smushed from its journey to me. So we just need to get it reshaped. But I just think it's so nice. So read quick off boxer bag in the tricolor brown. The bag of the week. Okay, my friends, we are wrapping up the swap outs. I've done my coats of polish. Ironically, for this gray toned polish, it looks like a lighter shade of purple. So I pretty much am back where I was last week. This is the tone I thought the nightshade was going to be. So this kind of... Um, mauve purple color that matches the YSL clutch that I have. Um, I wish I had it out right now. I could show you, but um, yeah, just more of this like lighter purple tone. So not quite as dark as what we were last week, but it has a little bit of, you know, that red metallic sheen in there, just a little bit of oomph. This is two coats. It's still relatively transparent though. So you can still see, um, Let's see that little focus. See my actual nails through it. So it could take another coat 
relatively well, but I'm gonna stick with just the two and leave it as, as is. But this is one of those kind of jelly formulations that um, is really buildable. So you really need like several layers to get um, opacity on that. Yes, opacity, I feel so refined with my statement there, the opacity. Okay, well, welcome to fall here in the northern hemisphere. Those in the other parts of the world, I think you're coming out of winter and into spring. Am I remembering my seasons? I'm not going to remember that. I'm sorry. I don't know my seasons. I'll correct myself. But thank you so much for joining me as usual. Love having you with me. Um, let me know what you're carrying this week. Are you going for a nice, reasonable size bag this week and enjoying something like that? Are you using a wallet on chain? What are you, what are you carrying this week? Are you going out and doing festive type? Oh, that's my other thing. I bought some pumpkins. Maybe I'll insert a picture. I got two pumpkins, small ones from Trader Joe's last weekend. And I still want to go out and get a couple more. But I'm slowly, slowly getting the fall stuff out front. And yeah, we're getting to that time of year. I want to maybe go pick up some mums for the planters outside. Still thinking about it. Anyway, I hope you have a great week ahead. I will see you next week. Take care. Next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? He folds it in. <laughs>